Algebra 2, 2.1b, equations with parentheses. Now we went over this before in the first chapter, video 1.8c, and you'll see a link to that video if you go to the description of this one. You'll see the Algebra 2 playlist and you'll see a link to that video. We talked about brackets and braces. When an equation contains parentheses, we use the distributive property to remove them. We just solve the equation. So remember, if there's more than one type of grouping symbol, then you start with the innermost one first. If there's just regular parentheses, we just distribute this value that's in front of it to each one inside the parentheses. This would make 21, this would make 6a, this would make a negative 8a, and this would make a positive 8 because it's a negative and a negative. We combine the like terms of the 14 and the 8 and we get a positive 22. We can start isolating the a by using the addition principle, which is the same thing as adding the inverse. And that creates a zero pair here, right? Negative a and 8a and positive 8a. So we add it to this side also. A negative 6a plus an 8a gives us a positive 2a. Now we can take away this 21 and take away 21 from that side. And what we're left with is that a is equal to a half. See? Divided both sides by this coefficient 2 and we got that a is equal to a half, all right? When, we, when we're dealing with a lot of grouping symbols, we start with the innermost one first. So we're going to distribute this 2 into here first, all right? We're going to get 6x plus 2 by distributing this innermost part. Then we distribute this 3 to the 6x and to the plus 2. We get 18x plus 6. Now we can subtract 6 from both sides to create a zero pair here. Start isolating this x. We get 18x equals 36. We can divide each side by the 18, and x equals 2. All right? So just remember, when you see parentheses, brackets, and braces, you want to do the parentheses or what's the innermost one first. Usually these brackets, sometimes called box brackets, are next. And then these braces, which are sometimes called curly braces, they're usually done last, all right? The other thing I want you to remember is if you just see a minus sign in front of the parentheses, there's really a 1 there. So we could distribute a negative 1 to each of the terms inside of the parentheses. So we'd have negative 1 times 2x, which would give us a negative 2x, and negative 1 times a positive 3, which gives us a negative 3. See? So don't forget, there's a little invisible 1 there when you see it just right up next to the parentheses. All right? Our next video is going to be 2.1c, and we're going to talk about the principle of zero products. And if you want to go to the description of this video, you can see the Algebra 1 video link for parentheses and variables on both sides of the equation. And there's going to be that link for the Algebra 2 video that I was talking about, 1.8c, where we talked about brackets and braces, all right? And to go to the description on an Android, just click that little triangle right there, okay? Right underneath the video, all right? Okay, I'll see you next video. I hope you're doing all right. Bye.